The record is blinking. Okay, keep it blinking. All right. Stays blinking. Stays blinking. Okay. Sorry. So, what you want to do in order to maintain a sustainable ability to do this shit for a long time is think of it like a triangle. Okay. The bottom part is preparation. The top is execution. The bottom is recovery. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is preparation. So, swaying back and forth. This is a real easy way to send motion through the body with very little effort. You're sending motion through the scaps, the spine, the hips, the knees, all the way down. That's ideal. Next, you want to isolate the scaps and think about sending motion through them. The scaps come together, separate. Together, separate. Up, down. Up, down. That's your basic range of the scaps. Next, you want to think about the spine. So, you want to think about moving through the spine, just spiraling through. Doesn't matter how you do it, you just want to send easy motion through the spine. Next, you're going to think more about the hips. So, you're going to think of getting into the knees, sinking down, just bringing motion to that region, okay? After you've done that, you then go through your execution. So, your execution, you want to keep your chest high tailbone slightly under and let your body weight do more of the work than your muscles. So you come up, sink the hips, come up, sink the hips, come up, sink, come up, sink. Start slow, work your way up, allow your body time to get ready and then execute. So you've gone through the day, you're going to take breaks. Now while your partner's smoking butts, you're paying attention to your scaps, you're paying attention to your hips because you know you've got a ways to go. So, towards the end of the day, you got that final, that last leg. That's the leg you want to pay a particular attention to. It's like, the, it's like on your way home from a mission. You want to make sure you keep everything aligned. Don't let, don't let fatigue ruin your form. Okay? It's, it's bullshit. So, keep your body aligned. Boom, getting it done. Boom, getting it done. But, after, even after you're done, you're still not done. Now you got to take care of your gear. Your body is your gear. Your shoulders are your gear. Your hips. Everything. These are your gears. It's like cleaning a weapon after you've used it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to stand up straight, fill up with air, fold forward. Let your head be long, let your spine be long, and let it go. Let tension out. Once you've done that, you're going to come to all fours. From here, you're going to mimic head, tailbone, and the same thing. Round up, round down. Round up, round down. After you've done that a couple of times, you're then going to come onto your front. So, excuse me, you're then going to go into what is, what's called turtle. Stretch, lengthen. Stretch, lengthen. Connect your mind to your breath, your breath to your motion. Then you come down. Tuck your chin so your forehead's rested. Bring your fingertips to nipple level. Send your scapulas up and down. You can almost think of it like chambering around. You send it forward, pull it back. Inhale, exhale. Move through those steps. After you're done that, flip over onto your back. You're on your back, you go through guacamole. The biggest muscles in your body go through your hips. So you want to loosen them up, take them over, stretch. Now, connect your mind to your breath, your breath to your motion. Inhale, expand. Exhale, let go. So actually think, relax, calm down. I'm not doing this quickly, but you want to take about 15 to 20 minutes, if you got it, to recover. Fix your gear, get it cleaned up. After you've done guacamole on both sides, go back and forth with knee flops. You're looking for a pleasant, calm, kind of tingly sensation, relaxing the body. Next, roll over, you're almost done. Take your time getting up, one foot forward, the other. Now, make fists, that's important. Make fists as you slowly come up the center line. Come up the center line, align your body. Get your, get your wrists right, pull the scaps down and back. Align, get a good breath, let it go. Feel the scaps slam into each other. Feel that motion, nice and loose, shake it out then you're done.